Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who've tuned in online, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is alive. Yes, Jesus is alive. He rose again from the dead, and God's people all around the world are celebrating. Jesus is alive. I love the fact that even the kids in our kids program made me this little decoration, this little wall decoration in celebration of the fact that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, and, and because Jesus is alive, we now know that whatever he accomplished on the cross is now confirmed to us. Jesus wasn't put on the cross because he was bad. No. And, and Jesus wasn't put on the cross because wicked and evil men absolutely were able to capture him and put him on the cross. No. No, Jesus went to the cross to die for our sins. And that is now confirmed to us through the fact that Jesus rose again from the dead. And it is an historical fact. I love these, some of these beautiful verses here in Acts chapter 13. Let me read them for you. It says this, uh, though they found no proper ground for a death sentence, they asked Pilate, the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, they asked Pilate to have him executed. When they had carried out all that was written about him, they took him down from the cross and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days, he was seen by those who had traveled with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. They are now his witnesses. And a little bit later on, it says this, therefore, my friends, I want you to know that through Jesus, the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Through him, everyone who believes is set free from every sin. Because Jesus is alive, I am absolutely sure my sins are forgiven when I put my faith and trust in Christ. And your sins are forgiven as well if you put your faith and trust in Christ, because that's the promise of Scripture. And Jesus rose again from the dead to confirm to you that that is exactly what the cross is all about, the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. And I love the the way the Bible makes it so clear that Jesus is alive. I mean, we have so many witnesses. Um, uh, In in terms of an ancient event, we have more witnesses about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ to confirm the the, the historical truth of that that event than any other ancient event in history. just to help us to understand that Jesus actually did die on the cross for our sin and rose again from the dead. And, and so when we read the gospel accounts, every witness has their, uh, shares their, their separate little details. And so we know that they're not just colluding on a story together, but actually they saw the risen Jesus and they heard the reports and so on, and they reported to us. And so when we hear that the women went to the tomb and they didn't see the body of Jesus, but instead they heard from the angel, that why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. He's risen just as he said. Yes, Jesus is alive. When we hear that one of those women, Mary, went back to the disciples and still struggling about, well, is Jesus really alive? And then goes back to the tomb and has a personal account with Jesus. Yes, Jesus is alive. When, when, the, when the disciples Sunday evening are, are gathered together in a locked room and then Jesus appears, yes, Jesus is alive. One of the disciples wasn't there. And so the following Sunday, Jesus once again appears in this room. And Thomas was able to actually see and feel and touch the risen Jesus. He is bodily alive. Yes, Jesus is alive. 500 folks gathered together in the northern part of Israel, Galilee, on some mountain, on some major hillside. And Jesus appears to them. You know, and I love the honesty of Scripture. The Scripture says that some doubted. Are we really going to see Jesus alive? Is Jesus really alive? But then Jesus comes to them and he appears to them and he shows them that he is alive and gives them that commission. All all power and authority is given to me. Therefore, as you're going, make disciples of all nations. Wow, Jesus is alive. And because Jesus is alive, I know, I know, that those who put their faith and trust in Jesus, their sins are forgiven. Have you put your faith and trust in Christ? Because of his resurrection, we can know, know that our sins are forgiven and so that one day we can enjoy his glory forever. Yes, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.